Hi guys, welcome back to another MD video. Today we are having a five month after review of the Shark Squall 2 Switch Rider helmet. Check it out. Let's get it out of the bag. Right, so first thing, right off the bat, you wanna know, should you buy this helmet? Yes. Yes, you should. It's a great helmet. It's fantastic. It's got some flaws. It's got some issues, uh, which we'll go over in a second. But overall, if you don't want to watch this video any further and you want to know if it's a good helmet to buy, definitely do that. If you want to find out more, stick around. Let's jump into what I like about the Switch Rider, uh, the Shark Squall 2 and then we'll talk about all the things that I don't like about it or the things that bother me slightly um, and we'll take it from there so firstly the fit this the interior the inside of this helmet is fantastic it feels great on your head um, with these thick neck rolls it really um, comes around your neck covers all the wind noise just the the quality of uh, the inside of this helmet is really great and i'm really enjoying that quite a lot then the visor it's got this um auto seal system which it's got this great gasket lining that goes right around the helmet um, which seals very very well so when you add speed and you close up the visor it really eliminates any wind noise from getting in or wind getting in um, and that's fantastic for when you're on the highway the open road there might not seem that much ventilation on this helmet uh, it's only got the uh, front vent and the brow vent or the top vent um, and that might not seem like a lot but the helmet uh, seems to be well ventilated and doesn't get hot at all uh, it does have a bit of an exhaust vent here at the back as well for the top which really drags through and works quite well the mechanical aspects of the helmet like the the visor uh, the drop down sun visor and the ratchet um, strap on the inside seems to all be holding up really really well and um, it's working quite well and I've had no issues with it so all around these are the things I really like about this helmet and it looks fantastic okay so now some of the things I don't like about the Shark Squall 2 um, let's start with the LEDs let's go ahead and put them on Okay, they don't seem to be working. It's because they're flat. It's because I don't use them. Um, so if you are a nighttime rider and you ride it, uh, you know, in the evenings or early in the morning, um, then this is a great option to have. If you've got the extra cash and you want to spend that on the LED version, um, definitely do so. It's fantastic to have but not um, something that you would use all the time. And it is a bit of a pain um, once a week or so, if you don't use it quite often, you have to plug it in every time and recharge it. So mine is obviously flat because I don't do a lot of nighttime riding. Since I've had this helmet, I've only been out in the nighttime three times. Um, so, you know, do with that what you will secondly the helmet is a little bit heavy um, not so much that it's a problem but if you are doing excessively long commuting or going to ride very far um, it could become a little bit of a, a, a pain but not so much that uh, I would not buy this helmet as cool as this little fin on the back uh, looks, 
it could be a little bit irritating for when you are, you've got a backpack on the back and you looking up or looking around, it keeps pushing back into your backpack if, you're, if it's sitting up quite high on your back. So that's uh, also just a little bit of a, something that irritates me, but also not enough to make you not want to buy this helmet. Then lastly, my biggest pain with the Shark Squall 2 is the front vent. Now, they could have made this um, a slide vent, just uh, it clicks open or clicks closed or something, uh, which would have been a lot better than this uh, push action vent. I've noticed that if you are doing quite fast speeds on the highway, the wind actually just closes this. It really, it just like pushes it back. That's um, how um, flimsy this little vent is. So you constantly have to, when you stop, push on your chin, open it up again, because it will flap closed. Uh, so they definitely could have made that better. And that's my biggest issue with the Shark Squall 2 Switch Rider helmet. Other than that, I've really enjoyed this helmet. So far, um, it's a great helmet. And I would definitely recommend you checking it out for yourself if you want to buy one of these. Um, the fit and feel of the helmet's extremely nice. Uh, definitely something you want to try out and uh, see if you want to purchase one. But as all helmets, before you go and buy or make up your mind, go check your local dealers, uh, your motorcycle um, shops, try on all the helmets which are in your price range and that way you'll know what's available to you um, and obviously which falls into your budget and you'll be able to make a decision and get the helmet that works for you. But just as that, we are done with this five month review. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more and then I will see you guys on the next one. See ya.